Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, Crazy Life of Jake and Wife. I got that right the first time. Look at this. through today, revolvers today. Today we're talking about luxury revolvers. Luxury revolvers. Now there's a few of course that are not going to be fully luxury but these are some of my favorite revolvers of like all time. Uh, a couple are my own and a few are from, from, from some friends and some family and basically people I could just get my hands on these particular guns because some of them I've noticed you can't find like anywhere on the internet. For example, this particular one right here. Now because of YouTube and all their wildness we have safety checked every one of these. None of them are loaded, none of them have anything in them. Either way, I'll get some close-up B-roll on this particular one. This particular one is called the Korth. It's a collaboration it between is a collaboration. Nighthawk and Korth. So I don't know if you guys have heard of Nighthawk before. Nighthawk Customs makes probably some of like the nicest custom guns on the market from 1911s, revolvers, and this is called the Korth Classic. I've tried to find this gun on the internet and I can't find it anywhere. It's extremely expensive. It's a $9,000 revolver. Um, luckily, I was able to get it on the channel from one of my good friends who owns it. And it's just cool to be able to handle and touch it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Korth Customs has actually been around forever. They've been building guns in Germany since... 1954. 1954. Yeah. So kind of pretty. Um, just a beautiful gun. And by the way, these all shoot like extremely well. There's a couple on here that are super limited that you won't see them ever being fired, for In example. In fact, we won't even, we're not even gonna show the... Uh, yeah, we won't open the chamber. This is zip-tied, closed. Uh, <laughs> this again is a borrowed gun from a friend, uh, very big into guns, but this is a limited edition run on a Colt Peacemaker, single action army. It's engraved. It's, it's the uh, the Thomas Three Persons edition. The Thomas Three Persons Colt 45 single action army is a limited edition recalling of the Peacemakers of the Wild West. It's beautiful royal blue polished, and it has a replica of the Marshal's badge engraved on the shovel portion of the firearm. Which you can see right here. Stunning, by the way. It was limited to 350 special serial numbers within the TLE serial number sequence. And a little bit of backstory on Thomas Three Persons, why it's called the Thomas Three Persons Colt. Um, Thomas Three Persons was born in 1889, a Cherokee lawman, and is considered to have been one of the last gunfighters of the Old West. He invented the Thomas Three Persons holster, um, had a long and dramatic career as a soldier and lawman, was wounded many times in the course of duty, and was said to be relentless in the pursuit of outlaws and killers. That's pretty legit about the Three Persons. As you could tell from the video on it, it is a beautiful pistol. I mean. As much as a gun can be beautiful, this is a beautiful gun. The scroll work, the gold inlays, the shield badge on the back of it. That's my favorite part. Oh my goodness, beautiful gun. <laughs> so who likes Colts? <laughs> I do, I love Colts. So we'll go over a couple of these Colts. So we just kind of talked a little bit about the Thomas Three Persons Single Action Army. Now I do have a couple other Colts that are really sweet. And Colt collectors, obviously you know those guys. I love Colts when I can get my hands on them. We've got here the Colt Python. Now this is the remake of the Colt Python. This is not like the original Colt Python that... Uh, this is the prettier version. This is very pretty. <laughs> it's all sc scroll worked and... Uh, Engraved beautifully. And obviously it hasn't been shot. Quite a few of these guns, believe it or not, have never been shot. They, probably won't ever be <laughs> Right, they'll probably just... They'll just be a safe queen. We have guns to shoot and then we have guns to look at. That's true. <laughs> Things that will be a safe queen. Um, but very, very beautiful gun. Of course, the Colt Python has been something that's been iconic in the lineup forever. I did used to have, believe it or not, an original Colt Python, and I sold it, which was really stupid. Uh, she actually probably doesn't even know about that one, <laughs> but really stupid because there was so much money nowadays. But we do have an original Colt Diamondback, 38 Special. This one was borrowed from a family member, believe it or not, so it's my dad's, actually, uh, who bought this when he was... I think he said he was like 21, like as soon as he turned 21, he bought this. 
and he paid like four hundred dollars for it back then. Which was a lot back then. And of course, as you know now, this in this condition, my dad, I don't he's, even think really. He's should. so meticulous. Uh, it's worth a lot, which is very cool. That's why it's on our luxury edition page. Um, and then we got a few that are just kind of unique and fun. I know my wife really likes this one. <laughs> I do. This one's called the Chiapa Rhino. Now, if you guys have seen the Chiapa Rhino, it actually fires from the uh, the bottom wow. chamber versus the top. The whole goal on that, by the way, just in case you guys are curious, it is unloaded. Um, whole goal on that is when we're shooting, instead of having muzzle flip, it less shoots recoil. back into you. So a lot less recoil. This thing's a tack driver, though. Mm -hmm. This thing... You nail bottle caps. Yeah. And what, it's it's, it's a, a pretty cool thing. gun. Anyway. Uh, uh, I don't think you've talked about the K6 yet. No, yeah, tell them about the K6. This is the Kimber K6 Combat. Um, combat it has one. combat sights, right? Yeah, combat different. So they, they make the K6 and another one has, has adjustable sights on the top. Um, I personally love the combat version because it doesn't get snagged on anything. And if you've ever shot revolvers much... Some revolvers are not like enjoyable. This revolver is holy cow! It is so comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like when you when you hold it in your hand, it has probably one of the best grips on a revolver you've got. Super comfortable, great performance. It performs extremely well. Cool thing when you pull the trigger on this, so it's a double action or single action. Double action pull on this is so crisp. Now because this is YouTube and they get crazy about stuff, we are unloaded. But check out how smooth. The trigger pull on this is uh, double action. It is like one of the crispest. There's no grit. There's nothing. It is so smooth. And then, of course, you can uh, single action this as well. Anyway, Kimber K6. That is the okay. combat version. This one here, the Smith & Wesson Performance Centers. This is their Pro Series. This is one of the first revolvers that I bought, um, personally, because it was something that I, uh, something that I was pretty excited about. <laughs> To be able to get kind of a little more performance series pistol. I've just been super excited to get one of their nicer series guns. The Pro Series on the Smith & Wesson is, it's clean. Now, if you guys, of course, revolvers and like semi-autos are completely different in the world. Uh, all just kind of depends on what you like. But there's something about a revolver that just brings you back to the like, old school. Like, do you remember my baby pictures? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. what, like when I was just a kid, what, what did diaper, I Diaper, cowboy boots, and a, a little holster over the diaper with a little revolver in it. Cap gun. And a cowboy hat. <laughs> and a cowboy hat. I straight up, I rocked my cowboy boots, <laughs> little pistol with a diaper on, right? Cowboy boots, underwear, di slash diaper. And our uh, kids? Little vest. Same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cowboy hat. That's how I rolled. So mm -hmm. there's something about revolvers to me specifically that just hit me home. I freaking love them. I mean, we, we carry them uh, as our, like, every day, too. We do carry mm -hmm. every day. We, we are definitely a gun-toting, a Jesus-loving family. So <laughs> that we are. That's, that's what we like. <laughs> All right. And our uh, Smith You'll, & Wesson Performance Performance Center. Center 460. Now, obviously, you can tell this is a beast of a gun. This is sitting on the same frame that the uh, Smith & Wesson 500 comes out of as well. This gun is heavy. If you noticed in, in the 460 series, there's multiple different versions. This one here is the seven and a half inch barreled one. Um, it comes with compensators and stuff like that. It comes with a rail on top. So if you decide to throw an optic on this, pretty cool, beautiful, beautiful. Probably meant more for bears than coyotes. You know, I think-, I think <laughs> Was the there anything left? I think the reason I bought that gun was just to say, that you had. I got one of the biggest Big calibers gun. you can possibly mm -hmm. have. Um, so beautiful, beautiful gun. Anyway, we, we love revolvers. We love a whole bunch of stuff. If you guys want to see anything else on the channel, uh, we do love guns. We've got a little bit of everything. So if there's something particular you want to see, you'll we, probably see it if you stick around long enough. <laughs> and, and, and all the wild hobbies and everything else. And truthfully, that's why we call it The, the Crazy, crazy life. life. 